In June of 2002, Herman Frazier was introduced as the new athletic director on the Manoa campus. Some say he did little in the last five and a half years to improve the program he was tasked with running. Jai Cunningham joins us now with more. Jai? Joe, there have been a number of controversies over the years, whether it's been his slowness in delivering new coaches' contracts or little to no fundraising. Herman Frazier was introduced to Hawaii in June 2002. Back then, he made it clear he was happy to be in the Aloha State. The University of, of Hawaii is a dream job. That's why I, uh, there were so many candidates who were involved in the pool for this particular job. It is a dream job with great potential. But the former Olympic track star ran into plenty of hurdles during his tenure. You got that contract done yet? Uh, we're working on it. Uh, we're working on it. Let's get that done. Let's get that thing done. We need you here. Including contract talks. Did I handle everything properly and was it handled properly here? No. That, that clause should never have been put in the contract because if you're the boss, you can say, hey, your ass is out of here anytime they want to. So after 20 years of faithful service, why would you put it in there? That's the only thing that makes me unhappy. Many complained after Riley's departure. It took too long for Frazier to finally find a replacement, one that was always right there. Perhaps no Frazier misstep drew more attention than the bungling of the 2007 football schedule. Hawaii was allowed to schedule 13 games, but Frazier came up short, which cost the university thousands of dollars in unrealized revenue. That snafu helped land him in front of a state legislative committee to answer for his inaction. It hurt me from a standpoint of view that it seems like I was on trial uh, for something. And, and I think when you look at all the things that we have done at this university since we've been here, and when you look at all the accomplishments that we've had at this university, why should I be on trial or why should my program be on trial? A trial that has apparently concluded with a conviction. In his five-plus years at Manoa, Frazier did increase the athletic department's budget from about $16 million to $21 million a year. Jai Cunningham, KHON 2 News. So could the next head coach for the UH football team be a hire from within? Kanoa Leahy joins us with the latest on that. Kanoa. There is that chance now that we could be going from the June Jones era to the Greg McMacken era. According to sources, the remaining assistants on the Warrior staff were interviewed by members of the University of Hawaii administration and have given a majority endorsement to McMacken to be the replacement for June Jones. Yesterday, it was confirmed that the defensive coordinator would follow Jones to SMU, but sources say because of the swelling of support, McMacken could be now considering the head coaching job in Manoa. McMacken served as Hawaii's DC this past season as well as in 1999, two of Hawaii's most successful years. He also has coaching experience on the college level at Miami and Texas Tech and in the NFL at San Francisco. He was the head coach and athletic director at Oregon Tech of the NAIA from 1986 to 1989. But there's more movement to speak of within the football program. Another notable receiver has decided to leave early for the NFL while an all-star linebacker thinks otherwise that's going to be coming up later on in sports. Now, June Jones, in his list of five coaches that he recommended to replace him, did not mention McMacken. Is that because he wanted him to follow him to Texas? Absolutely. June Jones definitely wants Greg McMacken to go with him to Dallas, and I think that was the thought. In fact, June Jones told the various members of the media yesterday that McMacken was, in fact, going with him to SMU, but I think because of that drumming of support here locally, mm -hmm. McMacken now might be considering perhaps applying for the head coaching job. Okay, where does this leave Norm Chow? Well, I Who think knows? it's still wide open, exactly. I mean, this is, uh, this is just the, starting, uh, the start of getting this ball rolling, I think, at this point. And, and everybody's going to be throwing their hat into the ring at some point, it seems. All right. Thanks, Kenal. You're welcome. Fallout in the wake of the departure of June Jones continues. As you heard at the top of the newscast, Herman Frazier is out as UH Athletics Director. In a statement released by the university this afternoon, UH officials say in the best interest of the athletics program, they will buy out Frazier's contract for a sum of just over $312,000. Associate Athletics Director Carl Clapp takes over on an interim basis. So after five years, the Herman Frazier era at UH is coming to an end. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Sports. Yesterday, the June Jones era in UH football wrapped up after nine years. So what era can we look forward to? Perhaps the 
Greg McMacken era? Well, according to sources, the remaining assistants on the Warriors staff were interviewed by members of the university administration and have given a majority endorsement to McMacken to be the replacement for June Jones. Yesterday, it was confirmed that the defensive coordinator would follow Jones to SMU, but sources say because of the recent swelling of support, McMacken could be considering the head coaching job in Manoa. McMacken served as Hawaii's DC this past season, as well as in 1999, two of Hawaii's most successful years. He also has coaching experience on the college level at Miami and Texas Tech and in the NFL at San Francisco. He was the head coach and athletic director at Oregon Tech of the NAIA from 1986 to 1989. We contacted McMacken today, but he denied comment. As the UH football program looks to survive the upcoming whirlwind of transition, even more attention is being placed on the players, particularly the ones who have been considering an early exit from the college ranks to the pros. Devon Bess announced his intention to skip his senior season for the NFL last week, and today it appears another pass-catching underclassman is headed out the door. According to sources close to the situation, Ryan Grice Mullins, a first-team All-Wax selection, intends to forego his senior year at Hawaii and take a stab at the NFL. Sources say Grice Mullins received an evaluation from NFL scouts that projected him to be a fourth-round pick. Grice Mullins, a 5'11", 180-pound slot back, caught 106 passes this season for 1,372 yards and 12 touchdowns. Junior linebacker Adam Leonard was another UH player considering the leap to the professional ranks. After thinking long and hard and conferring with his family, Leonard, in what can be considered great news for the UH football team, has decided to stay in school. Just talking with my family and um, just uh, really praying about it, I feel that you know I, I need this extra year. Um, I felt physically this year I wasn't where I was my sophomore year, and I, I just want a, a year of healthy, uh, just being healthy. And uh, physically, I know that I could do uh, a lot of different things next year and really dominate. So I'm just looking forward to just being the best football player I've ever been. But this university gave me an opportunity to continue my football career. And, and, I, and I just uh, appreciate that. And I want to finish out here. Leonard was also a conference first teamer. The six foot, 235 pounder was second on the team in tackles with 105 and tied for first in interceptions with four. With National Letter of Intent Day a month away, the UH coaches are scrambling to hang on to the guys who have already given their verbal commitments to Hawaii, while the recruits themselves await what happens next regarding the replacement for June Jones. Defensive lineman Haku Correa and defensive back Christian Vasconcelos are both Damian seniors. Correa is undecided on where he'll play his college ball, although he's narrowed it down to San Diego State, Arizona, and Hawaii. Vasconcelos was the first local boy to verbally commit to UH last summer. Neither feels like a coaching change over well changes their perception of Hawaii. I'm pretty much still strong for what, what I said earlier, that um, I'm pretty much committed to the University of Hawaii. It doesn't really affect me that much. I want to wait. I want to see what happens, what's the outcome, and what's the situation going to be, and all that kind of stuff before I make my decision. So there's a, there's a possibility. It sucks to lose a great coach like June Jones, but uh, like what I said, I, I'm most likely on the defensive side. So for me, it's, it won't really affect my, um, my decision. And in case you're wondering, Correa is the younger brother of Laanui Correa, who mm. played at the University of Hawaii. And what was funny was we asked both those players, who would you like to see take over for June Jones? And mm. both of them said, well, the guy we're most familiar with and probably most comfortable with is Cal Lee. Oh, okay. The linebackers coach right now at Hawaii. Now, you said you spoke with Greg McMacken yes. today, but he declined to say whether he's interested in the head coaching job here or in following Jones to SMU. At this point, I believe he's still going through the thought process. I think he is going to talk with his family. I think he's going to talk with June Jones as well. Um, and I'm not sure if he's going to come to a decision uh, maybe tomorrow at soonest perhaps, but I think he's going to uh, think things through. I do think that he had decided initially, and June Jones told members of the media yesterday that McMacken was going to go with him to Dallas, but I think because a lot of people have told Greg McMacken that they would love for him to stay as the head coach, he is now perhaps going through that consideration. And the thought would be, if that happens, that Ron and Cal Lee would run the spread or run and shoot offense. Well, I, you could maybe make maybe. that assumption. Uh, I'm not sure at this stage of the game. Mm. 
but you could also presume that most of those assistant coaches that were with June Jones would stay on with Greg McMacken. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some assistants, though, that have given early indication that they themselves would be interested in the head coaching vacancy, like Rich Miano, uh, like Jeff Reinbold, and so they might also put their names into the mix here, but uh, to see that kind of support for a guy like Greg McMacken, who, from a 